hey guys welcome to my channel and thanks for checking this video out if you're new here and have not yet subscribed please consider doing so and also turn on your notification bells in order to be notified every time i post a new video we'll be doing a tour of mombasa old town in this video on the southeast side of Mombasa Island covers an area of 72 hectares and is adjacent to Tudor Creek. It's inhabited by a mix of local Arab, Asian, Portuguese and British settlers who have coexisted for hundreds of years. The various social, religious, political and economic activities of these groups have created a distinct character and culture which together has come to define this old town. The architectural style and designs of the historical buildings in this area also reflect these cultures. This is a well-preserved part of the town and good for history lovers that are interested in knowing more about the roots of Mombasa. At the entrance of the old town is a coffee pot and cab, a gift to Mombasa which was built by Mr. Burhan Ali Tahir in 1988. The buildings are conveniently located opposite each other and separated by narrow streets. Many of these buildings that date back to 18th century still exist and are characterized by white coral walls, beautifully carved large doors, wooden windows, and raised and elegantly styled balconies attached to the turn of the century facades. Door carving was as a result of the booming trade, especially in the 19th century, whereby wood carving emerged as a symbol of the Swahili art and decoration of doors and other domestic items. That's the Africa Hotel, which was the first hotel in Kenya. We'll be checking it out later. 
The Swahili also used dolls to depict wealth. The more carved and grander a doll is, the richer the owner. There are different doll types in Old Town Mombasa which include the Gujarati doll, Omani doll and a Zanzibar doll. On the left is a mountain mosque which was built in 1570 and is the city's oldest mosque and Kenya's third recorded mosque. Mantra Mosque is one of the only two mosques in the world with two mirrors. That's a niche in the wall pointing to the direction of Mecca where Muslims face when praying. The other one is in Saudi Arabia. On the left is the first and oldest post office which was built in 1899. The post office enabled Indians to build the railway to send news and money back home to their families. That's for Rodoni restaurant all time. I'll be talking more about it in a separate video. This is a government square which is surrounded by buildings of historical and architectural value, which were once owned by some of the most influential merchants of the old town. It's also located adjacent to the old port and therefore served as a center of business and commerce in Mombasa for many years. In 1890, when the British arrived, they set up most of the government buildings here because of the flourishing character of the port area, thereby giving the square its name. With the emergence of Kilindini Port, businesses associated with shipping industry were shifted to Treasury Square located along the road to Kilindini, and so Government Square began to lose its importance. The now old port was notably the docking place for Arabian, Somalian, Persian, and Indian traders in the 16th century. During the annual monsoon winds, the traders would dock their dolls at this port and bring spices, oils, textiles, silk, and porcelain. After the monsoon winds, some traders would stay back and settle in the old town. This settlement led to the cultural blending of diverse people, cultures, cuisine, architecture, and languages. Proposed construction of a new port with a deeper water harbor that could handle larger ships in the 18th century led to the construction of Kilindini Harbor. This saw the moving of most activities from the now Mombasa Old Port to Kilindini Port. African Hotel was the first hotel in Kenya and began operations in 1901. It's a two-story building with tough rooms and was particularly appreciated for its balconies with views of the sea. At the time, there were no buildings near it. On the outside wall, there were two clenched up turn faced probably to hold the notice board, but those were knocked down in 1988. The hotel hosted business travelers and government officials. It's now a museum which houses 1,900 photos, and part of the history that is documented is guest complaints about how dirty the area was. Many of the old town Swahili architectural structures are residential and some have been converted to artisan stores and souvenir shops where you can purchase gifts and souvenirs such as silver jewelry, beaded sandals, perfumes, fragrance oils and antiques.
can either walk around Old Town by yourself or you can hire a tour guide at a reasonable price at the Esplanade of Fort Jesus. Prices range from 10 to 20 US dollars per hour. I'll be talking more about Fort Jesus in a separate video. Watch out for it. Have you ever been to the old town Mombasa and would you like to share your experience? Please leave a comment in the comment section below and let's share our experiences. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.